Welcome back to our SketchUp Pro tutorial series. We are still looking at plan set nine, which is a simple one bedroom house. Our first video that we that we just created and we just watched came and we created our plot plan from the very first drawing. In that we created our space for our actual house and so the width of our house is 24 feet and the length is going to be 30 feet and so in this in this video we are going to create our foundation so starting off with let's go ahead and create the rectangle and we are going to pull that rectangle up six inches so above ground it is six inches. Now we're going to flip over to the underneath. To start off with, make sure that the actual land is around this deep. You don't want to go any kind of deeper than uh, about three feet or so. So our overall thickness of the concrete for the most part is three and a half inches. So I want to use my push pull tool and I want to push this down 2.5. So that overall it is three and a half inches thick. I'm then going to go around and I want to yeah. So our concrete is two and a half inches thick. Next, we're going to take the offset tool and we're going to create our footing that goes around the exterior of our house, which is one foot thick. So we'll go 12 inches, hit enter. Then we're going to do the push pull tool and we want to go ahead and pull this up and it's going to be one foot 2.5 this will create our overall footing depth of 18 inches six inches above the ground and one foot below the ground once we have that now all that's left is all of the thicker footing pieces where there's going to be walls above the ground and so using my tape measure we are going to go in here and I'm going to lay out all the measurements one thing you want to make sure that you note is that this is going to be the front of the house this is the rear of the house So starting with the front, our first measurement is 10 foot 3. And then we'll go down from the front 13 foot 3 inches. I'm going to mark those points make sure that they are blue as they are going straight up and down I'm going to draw in more lines again all your lines should be red and and green and blue that means that they are parallel to the axis Our next measurement, I'm going from this line down 10 feet. Then we'll go from here over 
And this is the rear of the house. Six foot three. And we'll draw in this line. So again, this is the front of the house. From the edge, this is nine foot three. Going down, 12 foot three. Then we have this one, which is five foot three. And this one down here that is five foot nine. I want to go ahead and delete this line and that guide. We'll leave this one in here, but this one will be erased as well. Our next line from the front. And this is going to be from the front, we're going to go and create another guide that is 17 feet. We will draw that in. And we're going to draw it all the way across there. We can then erase this line. And we have one more guide that is going to be at the very back corner of the house. And we're going to go 10 foot 3. So this is the way it should look at this point. So our top of the house, our front, front door is right here. Just in case you miss any of the measurements for us. And then again, our ring around it is one foot thick. So with that, let's go ahead and create the actual, the rest of our footings. So the, all of these are one foot thick in width. So we're going to take our tape measure. We're actually going to create our offset and I'm going to create an offset of six inches. If you ever mess up, just hit Control Z. A lot of times it will automatically snap to something if you don't click something right. Just do, uncontrol, do Control Z, step backwards, and then redraw in. So that gets all of our interior. We don't want this piece. So I'm going to draw in are pieces here. That way we can then erase our lines.
Once you have all those pieces, you can erase this outside edge. As we've already drawn in our footing. If you did it the other way and we did this first, then we would have have to go in there and create that one foot gap for the footing. It depends on how you do it. Now we can go in here and erase our middle lines. Use the push pull tool. And the overall thickness of this from the very top is one foot. So with the top part of our concrete being three and a half inches, we want to pull this down or in the way it's oriented now, we're going to pull this up eight and a half inches. So 8.5. And so now we have our basic concrete footings for all of our walls. If we want to go and take this a step further, we can go in here and we can create the sides that this would be in. So it would go from at a diagonal. We're not really, we don't really matter or care about the, how, if it's the same, eyeball it, get it close. Then you can use your push pull tool and we can pull this out all the way across. For here, you would do it the exact same way. And then once these two meet, we will have to do an extra little step. So draw those in there, push, pull. If you pulled this by mistake, just hit escape. The escape button in the very top corner of your uh, keyboard, that will get rid of that or it'll stop doing it. Then we can pull this one. This will uh, go until it meets this edge right here. We can do the exact same thing with this side. For this, all you need to do is take your line tool, go from this corner to this corner, and it will draw that piece in there. We can then erase that. And that's how you create all of our footings. And then we can go through here and just do the rest of them um, in the exact same manner. So I'll do a few more and then I will leave the rest up to you. Again, the Use, making sure that you use your keyboard shortcuts makes this go a ton faster. When you get into these search uh, situations, so I have both of these already drawn in, but that's going to be okay. We can simply just create a line right here. Uh, measurement wise, it doesn't really matter as we're not really measuring that. That mine is five and a half inches. Once you have that, we can then simply just draw in this piece. So that's another really quick, quick way to go about doing it if you have that part. Here, we can probably do something very, very similar. Connect all of our corners. That will create that piece. And so those are all the steps. So now finish up the rest of it. 
So now that we have all of our footings drawn and everything's done, let's go ahead and finish everything up. We'll go in here, take the paint bucket tool. Over in your materials, we're going to go to asphalt and concrete, and we're going to use this polish concrete new. And go in here and color in all of our concrete. Um, you do want to make sure that you get in the habit of always making sure that you're putting this on the actual on the actual faces instead of just on top of the group. If we would have made this into a group and then colored that, it wouldn't be actually on the individual piece. It would be on on the outside shell of it. So um, it's vastly different. Um, in this case, it probably wouldn't matter much. However, if we're ever needing to go in here and alter the way the material looks, then it wouldn't matter because we wouldn't be able to do anything with it. Um, in this case, we can come in here and we can make this a unique texture. We can alter the texture by changing the position, uh, rotating it, scaling it, all that stuff. And so that's really not the case with concrete, but if we're doing wood or tiles, it's super, super important and something to always keep in mind. Over on the other side, we're going to finish up and paint in the outside pieces. Finally, we're going to take our selection tool. We're going to triple click on that, making sure that everything is selected. We're going to right click. We're going to make this a, a group. And we're going to, in the outline panel, rename that group foundation. At this point, go in here and take a screenshot showing this right here. Um, based off of this, I can I can really see that you kind of did everything correctly. Take a screenshot here showing your foundation group over here in your outliner panel, um, and make sure that you save your project as something recognizable with your initials in it like we did before. Thank you for watching this second episode of our plan set nine. Stay tuned in our next video where we start laying out the actual walls.